the knowledge factor and the wisdom factor. Hallelujah. Knowledge is knowing it. Wisdom is knowing how to practice it. Hallelujah. That's what prudence is. Hallelujah. Praise God. And wisdom, amen, according to the Proverbs, wisdom dwelleth with prudence. Let's look at this together. Amen. Verse number 7. Hallelujah. First chapter of the book of Ephesians. Amen. Verse number 7. It says, In whom we have redemption through His blood. Everybody say His blood. blood. We are a blood-bought church. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We need to know the doctrines of the blood. Right. Amen. Hallelujah. That is the purchase price of the church, of our soul. Amen. You must, we are bought with a price. Amen. And it was the redemption, hallelujah, of our soul, hallelujah, at Calvary. The forgiveness of sin according to the riches of His grace, where He hath abounded toward us in all wisdom and prudence, having made known to us, amen, the mystery of His will or His Testament, and we are in a new testament. Praise God, according to His good pleasure, which He hath pur purposed in Himself, that in the dispensation, Hallelujah, Amen. If I say the dispensation, dispensation, Amen, of the fullness of times, He might gather together in one all things in Christ, both which are in heaven and which are on earth, even in Him. That's the mystery of His will. That's the purpose of Calvary. That's the purpose of you getting the Holy Ghost is for Him to take you to heaven. Amen. That there would be a gathering of the wheat Amen. that are in His barn. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. A gathering of amen, His redeemed people. Praise God. And uh, amen. We'll, we'll get into some things here tonight that I pray will be a blessing. How many will try to listen carefully? Amen. Amen. And uh, praise God. Let's let's be a blessing. How many want to be a blessing amen. in the house of the Lord? I want to be a blessing. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. God bless you tonight, and you may be seated. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, praise God. Amen. In our in our text tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, just recapping. Amen. And we ended with verse number seven in this. We'll probably get back to the family again. I can go back and forth. But uh, I felt like, hallelujah, amen, more than just a feeling actually. But the Lord was directing me this way, hallelujah, so we could understand more about, amen, how blessed it is to be one of God's people. Yes. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. And uh, Amen. This is why until people do get the Holy Ghost and do get baptized in Jesus' name, they're going to wonder why we get so excited about church. All right. Hallelujah. Amen. But when you get the Holy Ghost and you get baptized in Jesus' name, amen, that's what church is all about. Yes. Amen. There's no experience like it. There's no joy like it. There's no power like it. There's no hope like it. Yes. Hallelujah. Come on. You're a partaker of covenant promises. Hallelujah. Amen. That that we need to get excited and stay excited about. Can you say praise the Lord? Now, amen. So, amen. He establishes uh, this truth. Amen. Hallelujah. That we have been purchased with the blood. Amen. And later, hallelujah, in these passages here, hallelujah, amen, it talks about, hallelujah, in verse number 14, we won't go there right away, amen, but it says in whom, hallelujah, this is the earnest of our inheritance, amen, this is the down payment, hallelujah, of our soul, praise God, hallelujah, amen, we are on the layaway system, God has given us a foretaste, hallelujah, you put money down on a house, when you're going to buy it. Hallelujah. And you keep making payments and then one day it's yours. Hallelujah. The bank doesn't own it. All right. Nobody owns it. But you. And that's the way God is. Hallelujah. He has given us the earnest of our inheritance. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. And that is just a foretaste. Hallelujah. Of what is to come. Amen. And you say praise God. And so God wants us to understand this. Praise God. He has put His blood upon us. Hallelujah. 
Amen. Called us his own. Amen. Because he is coming for his children. Hallelujah. This is why it's called being born again. Let's get back to the basics. Praise God. Hallelujah. The child has got to have the Father's name. Right. The blood, the spirit, the eyes. Right. Amen. Amen. To be a part of the inheritance. Right. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, you, don't, you don't get amen to, to be an heir of other people's family's inheritance. Right. Right. Go ahead. Amen. Praise God. But... <laughs> I don't care if you're poor. And most of you, hallelujah, act that way. <laughs> but we're rich. Amen. Come on. Amen. Amen. Right. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna preach something here. I'm just gonna tell some folks here some things. Now, when your preacher is preaching, amen. When the pastor's preaching doctrine, he's preaching the word of God. After, hallelujah, I'll make a doctrinal statement. All the church needs to say, Amen. Amen. Not a third, not a half, but everybody. Amen. That's why you got to pay attention. Yes. Because, uh, amen, when people come that aren't in the church and they hear everybody, it makes them feel like, well, if I want to be a part of the everybody, I better do that. I better start listening to what they're saying, amen, too. Hell, amen. You need to, amen. Well, can you say praise the Lord? Praise Hallelujah. The Lord. Amen. All of the people need to say amen. Yeah. We need to be saying amen. amen. We need to be shouting hallelujah. hallelujah. We need to, amen, retain an excitement. Yeah. Hallelujah. A joy of our salvation, yea, of our redemption. I blood not. Amen. Yeah. Can you shout hallelujah? hallelujah? Amen. Praise God. Now, I want to quickly go through some things here. Hallelujah to get uh, to some things that I want you to understand. Verse number 8 says, wherein he hath abounded. This word abound means a man. Hallelujah. A surplus. Not just enough to get by, but he hath abounded toward us in all wisdom and prudence. Prudence also has the connotation of insight. Insight of things that God is presently doing. Hallelujah. And things to come. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Nobody knows like the church what God is fixing to do. Hallelujah. We not only sing about it, we're going to partake of His coming. We're not only singing about Calvary, we are partaking of Calvary by repenting of our sin. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Amen. And of course, praise God. Amen. In this, hallelujah. Amen. In this passage of Scripture, all wisdom. And prudence. Amen. Matter of fact, the book of James says, if any man lack wisdom, let him ask of God. Who giveth liberally. Amen. Hallelujah. He will abound toward you in wisdom. Praise God. If you don't have wisdom, praise God and say, God, I need the wisdom for this. I want you to make, come on now. I want you to help me. Hallelujah. With my family. I want you to help me on my job. I don't know how to do it. Come on now. God wants to make you the head and not the tail. I'm going to preach this. Come on. Everybody needs to say it, man. Yeah. Well, look, he wants to make you a manager instead of a floor sleeper. Yeah. Oh, now. You say, how's that going to happen? By the Holy Ghost. Because promotion doesn't come from the east and the west. Hallelujah. It comes from God. Hallelujah. God is the one that has lifted us up here. He wants to bring in our faith to our hearts and our might. He wants to give you a better job. He wants to come on. I'm not preaching a prosperity doctrine. I'm preaching promises that are ours. That you will prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. That's the word God. It don't belong to the pills, man. It belongs to us. Matter of fact, charismatic means gift. We're the ones that got the gift. We got the Holy Ghost. And without the gift of the Holy Ghost, you can't have any other gifts. Because you got to have the giver before you get the gift. Well, let's talk our hands to the Lord. How do you understand that? you got to have the tree before you have the fruit. Man, you have to have the giver before you have the gifts. Amen. So, amen. He wants to abound toward you. Don't be afraid. We're going to get into this. It's, it's part of this, but he's leading up to don't be afraid to ask for big things. Amen. That's 
good. Don't sit there and ask for a crumb when he wants to give you loads. Come on, somebody. Come on, church. God wanted me to preach this. Somebody needs to hear this. I'm going to say that somebody. Everybody needs to hear it. And everybody needs to say amen. Amen. He is about the tortoise in all wisdom and prudence. Hallelujah. Having made known to us the mystery of his will, of his testament. Amen. Praise God. Many people know Christ died, but they don't know Jesus. People know that he was buried, but they don't know that the gospel, hallelujah, is connected to this. It is good news that he died, was buried, rose again. Come on. Because in that, hallelujah. Come on. Amen. You become a part of the body of Jesus Christ that rose from the dead. And death no longer has dominion over him. Right. So when you become a part of the body, death shouldn't have, shouldn't scare you anymore. Right. Well, people got phobias. You can have phobias of spiders and other stuff, but don't have a phobia of death because God has already conquered death for you. Right. Come on. I told you for the one God I was going to church that I've been baptized in Jesus' name and filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Even our funerals are more exciting than their church services. And we got the most precious on the side of the earth is the death of the righteous. Oh, I've seen people get the Holy Ghost and let God apostolic hallelujah funerals. Best thing they got going for them is dinner afterwards. Still sandwiches and hallelujah. Amen. It's all good. But I say it's all good. Amen. Praise God. Amen. God wants to make you feel rich because of who you are, not what you have and what you know. Come on. What you got on the inside, the depository of the truths, of the wisdom, amen, of the doctrines, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, hallelujah. In verse number nine, Amen. It further uh, establishes that it was his good pleasure. We have read that it's his good pleasure to give us the kingdom. Amen. To give good things to them that ask him. Right. We need to get the concept of God that he is good. Amen. Yes, he is. Come on. Amen. God is not a terror to good works but to the evil. Right. 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 If while we were sinners... God loved us. How much more since we're reconciled in his children? That's gonna have an end. That don't mean that you go back to sin to find favor with God again. Amen. Turn to your neighbor and say, Don't be from El Stupido Island. Don't give me no stupid looks tonight. I'm having fun preaching. <laughs> Hallelujah. Get with it. Turn to your neighbor and say, get with it. I say, get that. Hallelujah. You need to get this. Amen. Praise God. Now, hallelujah. Amen. Now, God, amen, did this, amen, by himself. Amen. For himself. And it was his good pleasure. Right. Hallelujah. Can you say praise the Lord? Praise amen. the Lord. Amen. How many want, how many want, amen, hallelujah, to praise God forever? Amen. 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 Doesn't it feel good to praise him for a little while? Yes. Amen. Well, connect the dots. If it feels good for a little while, it feels good for a long while, and it feels good for me. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. So, I want to help you. I want to help you. Amen. And I'm going to move on after I, after I say a couple things here. Amen. But one day, amen, Satan talked, amen, other angels out of worshiping God. Out of worship. 
matter how that character did it, but that's the kind of character you're dealing with in this right. He wants your worship. He wants your thankfulness. He doesn't want you to give praise to God for it. Don't give your praise to Alka-Seltzer. Give it to Jesus. Don't give it to Tylenol. Give it to Jesus. Come on. You wouldn't have Tylenol if it wasn't for Jesus. I want Greek for dirt to dirt. <laughs> amen. Now, amen. Jesus even said, they will hold me, not a physician. Right. God ain't against physicians. I don't want to fall into their hands. Amen. I'm going to tell you, you need to take care of yourself. That's right. Amen. Be smart. Amen. Take care of your body. Yes. It's the temple of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Take care of your mind. Yes. Don't let it be a garbage can. Hello, think on things that are good, lovely, just. Hello, get your mind disciplined. Learn to cast down imagination. Learn to put the good word of God in your mind. He said, this is the covenant. This is the mystery of his will. I will put my law into their minds and in their hearts when I write them. While the preacher is preaching the word of God. Amen. The finger of God is at work in your mind and in your spirit. That's why you need to be in church. That's why you need to open up and let God's finger do its work. Hallelujah. On the inward man. Oh, clap our hands to the Lord. It's his good pleasure. Hallelujah. Now, amen. Let, let's, let's get into this. Verse number 10. That, in the dispensation, this gives us the particular period of time Hallelujah, that God hath ordained. This word dispensation means a, a God-ordained moment. Of the fullness of times. Amen. Hallelujah. You connect this with what Jesus said. Hallelujah. Amen. In the fullness of the Gentile. That's what, that, that's what we're a part of here. God is dealing with a people that were not of the physical lineage of Abraham. But they have the faith of Abraham. We're all children of Abraham. How? By faith. Right. Yes. Amen. Woo. I said praise, praise the Lord. Amen. So, amen. This is the purpose. This is, amen. This is, and let me just borrow from Peter something here that just comes to my mind. Amen. Receiving the end of your faith, which is what? The salvation of your soul. Amen. The end of your faith is this scripture. That's why you've got to stay in the faith and contend for the faith and keep your faith. Keep your belief. Hallelujah. That righteous living does pay off and that Jesus is coming. Yes. Come on. You're going to have to fight you. Come on. But pretty soon the battle is going to be over. All trials are going to be over. For our right affliction, which is but for a moment, let the cross of our Lord exceed an eternal weight of glory. Why we look not at the things which are seen, we don't look at these temporal things. Come on, don't make your trial and look at each other. It's only temporal. Yeah. And don't make your salvation temporal. It's eternal. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Can you remember what you were doing? Amen. Can, can you remember your trial? Hallelujah, last August? No. Well, you got over it, didn't you? Yes. Come on. But the devil trying to make you think it's this big. And you got this giant. You can't run the out. You can't dance. You, got, you need to shake that spirit off. You need to shake that mindset off. Come on. You need to do it in the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. He got them looking around at people that weren't worshiping. At angels that weren't worshiping. Right? They're not worshiping. I shouldn't be worshiping. But if you get your eyes on God, you're forever. But come on. You can't get your eyes on people. Especially when they're non-worshippers. Well, if somebody was here, hallelujah, I'd, I'd be worried. Hey, God is the one you're worshiping. Not 
got to put some shit on the field. You don't wish it and how good, amen, your day has been. You worship in the God that made wishes to be in the morning, man. And it's good. It's good to be full of the Holy Ghost. It's good to be baptized in you. It's good to be in the church. It's good to be on my way to heaven. Let me just tell you, things we go through, amen, just like I quoted, amen, it, it, it's going to, it's like God puts this weight on you. When I used to run, I used to wear these big old lead vests. When I used to work out, I'd put, amen, these lead things on my ankles. And I'd kick you. That's all I could do. Isn't it hot? But you take them weights off. Right. Woo! Come on. And you take that old vest off. Come on. You know what? Hallelujah. Amen. When you are baptized in Jesus' name, God got rid of that heaviness. And he gave you a garment of It said, Put off the spirit of heaviness. And put on the garments of prayer. Come on. I want you to understand something in typology. Hallelujah. When the priests, uh, and then when the priests had garments, they were light. Uh, they were the lightest material because God wanted people to know when you're in my house. Amen. We are talking about you. When you're in my presence, you need to be mindful of why you're here. You're here because I want you, amen, in heaven forever. Oh, it's priest here. Get your eyes off your circumstance. Get your eyes off your problem. And get your eyes on the answer and the solution, which will always be Jesus. Amen. This is the dispensation of the full of times. He might gather together in one all things which are in heaven. Paul said to depart and be with Christ is far better. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Nevertheless, to abide in the flesh, he said, it's more needful for you. He said, I'd rather be up there. Right. But I'm down here because you need a preacher. Amen. Right. <laughs> this world needs a church. Amen. Heaven's going to be forever, but people need, come on. Right. Hallelujah. We've got a purpose here. Amen. Amen. Don't, don't let jerks Come on. Ruin your day. Ruin your life. There's always going to be so many stupid out there you get behind in your car. On the way to church. And you'll be going. You got to be careful because it might be a new car and it might be, amen, somebody in the church and you follow them and park a lot of you. Be a visitor. <laughs> Might be a pastor in the other car. Oh my God! A visiting pastor. Woo. Be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby of entertain angels. That means preachers unaware. Sit there in blue jeans and, and shirt and boots and just listen to people talk. They didn't know I was a preacher. They they were giving me some entertainment. <laughs> Somebody's always watching you. God's always there. Yes. Yes. Isn't, that, isn't that stupid how people? I'll do this in the dark. Yes. He gave me some other words to use. Indolent. Amen. Slothful. <laughs> Come on. Amen. Everybody say, Hallelujah, my worship. Hallelujah. It's to God. It's how good He is. He's faithful. He's just. 
Hallelujah. He'll never betray you. He'll never leave you nor forsake you. He will never let you down. People will let you down. Jobs will let you down. Elevators will let you down. Did you get that, sir? Yes. Okay. Supposed to say amen. amen. <laughs> Praise God, but the same elevator that'll let you down will take you up to the top floor. All right. All right. Come on now. The Bible said, praise God. Praise God. Now, amen. God is coming. And this is the culmination of why we're in the church. Hallelujah. We're living for this moment. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, we shall be changed. We are living for one twenty-fifth of a second. This is why we can't be careless. We can't be prayerless. We can't be gossipers. We can't be sinners. We can't be wicked. We can't be partaker. Come on. We've got to come out from among them and be separate. We don't want to be a partaker of people's sins, of their conversations. Come on. We can't afford it. I said we can't afford it. You'll never be able to afford that. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That you may be found in him. Praise God. This is what Colossians chapter number 3 says. Hallelujah. When Christ who is our life shall appear. Then shall we also appear with him in glory. Amen. Amen. Praise God. It's going to happen that fast folks. That's right. Woo. I mean. You can say hallelujah. And finish the hallelujah over there. Amen. 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 Right. Amen. Amen. And God. Is coming with a shout. Yeah. Right, man. And he ain't just gonna go. Rah! He's gonna be shouting something. Like, come up hither. And how many want to know the voice of the Lord? How many want to respond to him instantly? Yes. Well, that's what you're practicing to do. Amen. Not only in church service, but out there. Hallelujah. That voice. Don't do that. Don't look at that. Don't go there. I know. That's the same voice. Hear it. That's the same voice. When your preacher is preaching. Hallelujah. To you. Amen. Your pastor's home is going to sound a whole lot like. Hallelujah. Because he's preaching in the Holy Ghost. It's time when they come to church to get out of that pew. Hallelujah. To get your praise on. We are. That's what coming together in the church is all about. Amen. The body is coming together. Amen. The hip bones connect to the thigh bone. The thigh bone connect to the. Yeah. All right. We're going to go through the anatomy of the church. But we need everybody here. Amen. I said that's why we need everybody here. Is Christ divided? No. Is Christ incomplete? No, we're complete in Him. Yeah. Yeah. Now, amen. There are people in heaven and there are people in earth. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. And God's going to unite them together. Right. Those that have went on, hallelujah. Yes, amen. This is a mystery. Huh? Hallelujah. God's got His reasons for doing everything. Amen. Hallelujah. But the spirit goes upward. Right, right. Amen. And God, there's a natural body and a spiritual body. Amen. And that's why it says the dead in Christ are going to rise first. first. This is the great mystery when I speak concerning Christ and the church. Amen. Only thing we really got to understand fully in all this is we got to go up. Amen. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I believe it's important the right direction now. Yes. Come on. Praise God. It's going forward and not looking back. Amen. Right, sir. That's all the kingdom. Come on now. Right. Forgetting the things which are behind. Don't live in your yesterday. Amen. Right. Don't look to the right hand. Come on now. Amen. 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 Go forward. Hallelujah. Now, amen. Let's look at this. Verse number 11. Amen. That, I believe that's exciting. Amen. That one day God is going, hallelujah, to rapture us. Is anybody excited about leaving this earth? Yes, sir. Yeah. I want to tell you something. I believe.
believe the Holy Ghost told me. Amen. Hallelujah. Lord told me there are too many Pentecostal mansions on earth. People are getting so comfortable down here, they don't want to leave. That's right. They got too many plans, they don't want to leave. All right. All right. All right. I want to get married. Bigger bar. We had we had the BTR club, and that was bachelor till rapture. And I was the first one to do the exodus and say, "I do." Bachelor, can you imagine being a part of that club? Bachelor, we're going to be a bachelor. Amen. God didn't call us to celibacy. Right, sir. Go ahead. He that findeth a wife findeth a good thing and obtaineth favor of the Lord. And I found a good thing and I got favor. Amen. Woo. I'm going to tell you something. I told my wife, I said, she goes, she goes, I go, I go, uh, I said, I'd like to marry you, but I don't know if I can afford you. That's the old one. Oh, come on now. Still can't afford it. <laughs> Amen. Can't live with them, and you can't live with them. Is that right, brother? Amen. Is that right, brother? Amen. Amen. I was looking at all of the people. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All the people, amen, that came out of the world that we had to marry once they got in the church. All right. All of your hand. I believe it. Come on now. By looking around, go. Come on now. And I was sitting there counting the families. That's the world we live in. Because people think, hallelujah, they're married when they're not married. People think they're saved when they're not saved. People think they're married to Christ when they're not. Come on. When they don't have a contract. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. How many are thankful for this document called the Bible that shows that we are married to Him? We have taken on His name. We are part of an airship. Hallelujah. It's sons and heirs. Heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. Yes. Oh, clap your hands to the Lord. Yeah. Amen. If I said we have an inheritance. Amen. If I say an inheritance, Woo! that means you get everything God has. Woo! Amen. Now, is that exciting to y'all? I don't believe he owns Jupiter. I don't want it. You can have Pluto. You can have Pluto. And Goofy. <laughs> Listening here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Amen. I mean, believe we're heirs. Everybody say an inheritance. Everybody say an inheritance. No, you you got to be in the will. He made known unto us the mystery of his will. We weren't a part of his family, but God adopted us into his family. He predestined. That means he predetermined. The church is predestined. Come on. The church is his body. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And it was God's design to put us into his body. This is why you'll hear us saying, hallelujah, you can't join this church. You've got to be born into this church. Of Zion it shall be said, this and that man was born in her. When the Lord writeth up his people. Come on. That this and that man was born in her. Come on. Hallelujah. You've got to be born in the church. You've got to be born of Christ's blood, the water, Christ's spirit. Amen. Amen. Right? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. This is in his will. Amen. When you're reading the New Testament, you're reading the will right. of the New Testament. Right. 
And that's why, amen, hallelujah, if you, that's why it said if you don't, if you do these things, you, you should not be, amen, a part of the inheritance. How many have ever read that? They that do these things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Such were some of you. You read the will. Come on now. Amen. But if you do certain things, hallelujah, that's why you've got to come and, and my God, you've got to be present at the reading of the will. And find out what you've got coming to you and what you've got to avoid to keep it coming to you. And keep it coming to you. Amen. And the Bible shows us what can stop the blessing and what can keep it going. Hallelujah. So, amen. We understand, hallelujah, that the will of God is the Word of God. When people say, well, if it's God's will, I'll be in church Sunday. Well, it's God's will. Amen. There's some things you ain't got to pray about. I remember reading to a woman, Deuteronomy 22 and 5, a woman is not to wear that which pertaining to a man. Man is not, amen, to wear tutus either. Man is not to wear that which pertaining to a woman. And she goes, well, I just can't see that. I'll have to pray about that. I said, I said, ma'am, you don't need to pray about some things. Some things are written black and white. You don't have to pray. Amen. I'm here to help you. You don't have to go hungry one meal. When it says it, do it. What's the will of God for my life? For you to obey the Bible. Well, my heart's there, but my body's not. Right. Make it plain. Right. Come on now. You're not like Paul, though I'd be absent in the flesh, yet I'm a prison with you in the spirit. He's in a jail cell. You're not. All right. All right. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. But isn't it amazing how he could get in the Holy Ghost in a jail cell yeah. and tell their problems, amen, and give the answers and everything and not even be in service. Come on. Amen. Right. Amen. I'm going to tell you all something. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus, amen, found a man that believed that he didn't even have to be there. All he had to do was speak the word. Hallelujah. And his servant would be here. We need to get the revelation. It's not about us. It's about our faith in God. It's about what God can do through us. Come on. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible say, have the faith of God. What you pray, what things whatever you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive them. Amen. Don't be afraid to ask. You'll never get anything if you don't ask. Amen. And that's why God wants you to live righteous, because righteousness purchases boldness. Yes. Right? 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 Amen. And the righteous are as bold as a lion. The wicked flee when nobody's pursuing. The wicked think everybody's after me. Nobody's even after me. Amen. You go up, amen. You see people running off and they're thinking, man, they're wicked. <laughs> They're doing something they shouldn't be doing. Right. 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 You ain't afraid. Come on now. Amen. Uh-oh. Amen. They're sitting there doing that shit. You go, what are you looking for? <laughs> <laughs> you ought to be able to say, here, look at it. Look at my history. Look at it. All right. Amen. When my, when my wife takes my phone, amen. I don't go, oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't have no other girlfriends. I don't have another phone with another girlfriend. Uh -oh. uh -oh. uh -oh. uh -oh. You know why I'm going to heaven? Amen. I'm not looking 
for a new life. I'm looking for a new heaven and a new earth. Where I am dwelling righteousness. National Enquirer. <laughs> Amen. What that is? The Spanish have got one too. I forget. I've seen it. Amen. It's a, I don't know. What's the name of it? The Spanish one. Everybody's acting like, oh, I don't know what it is. I've seen it before. <laughs> I've seen it there at Walmart. Amen. And it's got all the stains and all the people in that. All right. Hallelujah. Stay away from that too. <laughs> I don't care what language you're saying. Get in the book. There's good things in the book. Read the book of Psalms. Read the book of Proverbs. Come on. Read the book of Acts. Read the letters to the church. Read the love letters of Jesus Christ to you. Come in now, somebody. Hallelujah. Amen. Find out. Hallelujah. How good. Amen. The good things that God has promised you. Read about the promises. Read about the blessings. That we are going to pursue you when you do right. Let's clap our hands to the Lord. Amen. Now, moving on. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Verse number 12, that we, if I say we, we. turn your neighbor and say we. 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 Amen. Amen. Lord, you got to get out of this mindset that it's I and I alone. Right. I'm the one that's saving And I wonder about myself. <laughs> <laughs> There's only two guys. <laughs> I believe you can get that. Yes, sir. Especially when you get alone. Like Elijah did. I am the only one. I'm the only one preaching this truth in Right. He said, I got 7,000 and I've not bowed. He said, Amen. You are a seer, but you don't see everything I see. There's 7,000, hallelujah, amen, that don't want what Jezebel has. Come on. They're not bound to need a bell. Come on. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God's got things, amen, going that we don't know about. But it ain't I, it's we. People. Well, praise God. Oh, my goodness. I can start preaching. Again. Satan was I. Right. I. I. I will be like. I. Come on. Not us. Right. Sir. Amen. Everybody, how many bread about Abraham and heaven? It goes, praise God, between us and you. You're either a part of the us or you're part of those that it's all about. You. you. And what you want. This is what I want. It's not what God wants. This is what I want. Come on. But this kind of preaching will keep you shot. Come on. Hallelujah. He's not coming for a finger. He's not coming for a foot. He's coming for a body. He's coming for people that get along with you. That don't gossip about their pastor. That don't gossip about their brother and sister. That don't complain about it. Come on. Come on. Amen. Woo. Come on now. Amen. And we'll say that again. Did everybody get I heard a few amen. They don't gossip about their pastor. They don't gossip about their church. They don't gossip about hallelujah. Their brother and sister. Come on. They pray. They pray. Hallelujah. Amen. How many have ever, ever understood? Hallelujah. Amen. When you when Jesus taught us how to pray. Amen. Amen. Hallowed be thy name. His name. 
Come on now. With that, his thing, it doesn't. A good name is rather to be chosen than rich. Come on. Amen. Amen. Then thy kingdom come. Thy will. First three steps are about him. Amen. And then give us. Not just me, but us. Because I'm part of an us now. I'm part of a church now. I'm praying for the church. Come on now. Why are you saying these things? Because people need to lose this. It's all about them. Yes. Hello? Yes, sir. Amen. Bye, say prayer. Somebody shout hallelujah. Have you with me? Hold up your hands. Hold up your hands. How many know what plural means? Yes, more than one. That means two hands. When a, when a place says, amen, hold up your hands, you don't do this. <laughs> you do this. I said, you do this. And you do this. It's your spine. You can do this or they can kick them apart. Because you know what? It's hard to kick like this. It's easy to kick like this. They know why they're telling you to do that. The preacher knows why he's telling you to do that. Come on. Amen. We left up holy hands without wrath and power. We don't have wrath. Come on. We don't have animosity. We don't have stealing in these hands. He that stole still the Lord. Come on. We'd rather let him later working with his hands. These are working hands. They're not stealing hands anymore. Amen. Everybody say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Woo. Man, this is good preaching. Yes, it is. Amen. Uh, we'll praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I need metal here or not. Praise God. Hallelujah. But you need to teach little boys and little girls and teenage and stay out of other women's person. They ought to be able to leave their purse in a pew. Uh -oh. But let me tell you something. Not everybody that comes is saved. Right. Right. Amen. Well, I thought it was the church. All right. <laughs> All right. Let the weak and tears grow. Yeah, it's true. Right. Come on now. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you what. Just read the first chapter of the book of Job. Amen. And the sons of God came. The devil was there too. Jesus chose a devil to be among them. You know what? A lot of times, amen, God lets a devil sit out there in a pew just to check my victory. Because as long as they don't bother me, I got the victory. You say, why are certain people there? Because when I look out there and they can't get my victory, I know greater is he that is in me than he that's sitting on the pew. Right, yes. Everybody say amen. 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 All right. Hallelujah. Everybody look up here. Come on. You say, who's he talking about? Praise God. You just say, God, don't let it be me. Let it be me. Come on now. Now, are there five wives? Are we so naive to think that everybody's going up? Right. It's us, but not all of us. Right. How many want to make your calling a legend? Come on. Amen. Amen. It's better to examine yourself and, amen, instead of going, boy, it ain't me. I'd rather say, oh, God, search me, oh, God. Yes, sir. Yes. See if there be any. Come on, man. Yes, I want that preacher to preach to me. I want that preacher to say that it takes preaching. God chose preaching to say, and God's not going to change his mind. He's going to choose preaching, and then he's going to choose preaching, and he's going to choose preaching to save them that believe. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Now, so, in this, amen, let's, let's look at this. Amen. 
Hallelujah. Amen. We should be the praise of the glory of His grace. He first trusted in Christ. Now, verse 13. Amen. In whom? This is a powerful verse. I want to touch on this. We're going to move on. Amen. In whom you also trusted after, did I say after, that you heard the word of truth. Amen. First, you've got to hear. Hallelujah. You hear before you receive, don't you? After that, you have heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation. Come on. Amen. Praise God. Now you keep watching here. She's been sick. So just watch this one. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Keep going on. I mean, God can be. Amen. Good miracles. Now. If I can handle it, that's my grandbaby, and I love her more than you. I can keep preaching. Hallelujah. Now, amen. The Bible says, so. amen, after that you heard the word of truth. How many believe you got to hear the word of truth? Amen. When does the Holy Ghost come? After you hear the word of truth. Amen. amen. The gospel of yourself. How many believe there's one gospel? Amen. I want you to see the power of this word. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The gospel. Amen. In whom asked. After that, you believe. Everybody say, you got to believe what you hear. You were sealed. You were given the Holy Spirit of promise. Now, why do people not get the Holy Ghost? Amen. Either they haven't heard it, or they don't believe it, or they don't have faith for it. Amen. I'm telling you, hallelujah, one of the worst things that God fights is unbelief. You need the Holy Ghost. You need it every day. Come on. There's only one gospel. we got to believe it. Not everybody's going to be saved. But if people are going to be saved, it's going to take that one gospel to be saved. <laughs> Hallelujah. They have to be sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. Come on. you got to hear it. Amen. What are you hearing? The gospel of your salvation, which is the word of truth. Hallelujah. And God shows that you are hearing the real gospel by giving you the real Holy Ghost. Now, this church was founded in the book of Acts, chapter number 19. Now, let's look on. Hallelujah. Amen. God wants to give us some things here. Like I said in 14, this is the earnest, the down payment of our inheritance. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, in verse number 18, let's, let's jump down. Verse 17, I'm sorry. Amen. Hallelujah. It said that, amen, he may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened that you may know what is the hope of his calling. How many want to know what the hope of his calling is? Amen. Hallelujah. How many, how many believe that God wants to give to certain people? Hallelujah. There are some people. Amen. My pastor used to say, amen, there's, there's people that don't know what's happening and people that are making it happen. Now, how many believe to make it happen? You've got to understand what's happening. You've got to understand what God has given you. Amen. So, hallelujah. Amen. After he gives you this enlightenment. Amen. What was the scripture before this? The Holy Ghost. What is God? God is light. Amen. Hallelujah. And after you get enlightened. Amen. Then you get to see the riches of the glory of his inheritance. Which is where? In the saints. Amen. Amen. Who is going to be the heirs? The saints are. Amen. Amen. Come on now. Yes. Praise God. Now, amen. How many, how many don't have rich moms and dads? I should see every hand in here. Hold up your hands if you don't have rich moms and dads. Well, how many have a God that owns everything? Come on now. Now, who's going to, who's going to take care of you for eternity? God. People don't have the means, the wherewith. Turn to your neighbor and say, Amen. Really, the greatest thing I've got going for me is God. Without God, I have nothing going for me. Come on, you understand this? Now, let's look at this together. Amen. Praise God. Verse number 19. Let's read this together. Amen. What is the exceeding greatness of his power to us for that believe according to the working of his mighty power? Amen. Now, hallelujah. God wants us to understand, amen, that we have not just got power, but we've got exceeding great power. Come on now. 
We should pray like we have power. Yes. Amen. We should pray like he is going to answer. Hallelujah. It better say us word that believe. Amen. It's not according to us, but it's according to the working of his mighty power. How many believe you got to get a revelation of his mighty power? Hallelujah. Amen. You can't live for God without his mighty power, but you can do all things with his mighty power. Hallelujah. You can live for God when you get prayed through yes. to his mighty power. Amen. You've got to pray through. Hallelujah. And you've got to pray to this power. Amen. Praise God. People have got to understand this is, uh, amen, what God has given to the church. He has given us mighty power. Amen. 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 Now that I believe, praise God, hallelujah, that God can do all. We've got to believe that God, hallelujah, is all power. And we are praying, not just through that power, but he is resident and dwelling within us. Amen. Now, hallelujah, let's go to verse number 21. And I want to get into this. Far above, everybody say far above. All of the principalities and powers and might and dominion. Hallelujah. That is down here. Now I believe there's a lot of it. There's a lot of armies down here. There's a lot of dominions down here. There's a lot of devils down here. Come on. Hallelujah. But you know what? God, hallelujah, has promised us. Hallelujah. He has given us power that is far. If I say far above. All of the principalities and powers, and might, and dominion, hallelujah, not only in this world, but also in that which is to come, amen, amen, God wants somebody to believe this tonight, because it will change the dynamics of your prayer, hallelujah, you know, this isn't just something that makes you feel good, God wants you to understand, hallelujah, amen, that he has got power that's above every other power that you'll ever face, or ever have to fight, come on now, Hallelujah. Amen. Why? Because he had put it underneath his feet. Hallelujah. I like the way that one lady said it. He said, ain't no brother going to walk over the Jesus in me. God has given me power to walk on serpents. He's given us the meat in church. Come on. I'm going to preach this. You know, hell doesn't want this church to have a body. Hell doesn't want any of these people to have a revelation. Hell doesn't want, hallelujah, us to have people, hallelujah, amen, filled with the Holy Ghost, amen, baptized in Jesus' name, teaching home Bible studies, seeing, hallelujah, people set free from demonic activity. Amen. Yes, amen. But this is what God did for us. Amen. He first did it in Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. And it says the church, hallelujah, which is his body. Amen. He put sin under his feet. And he put it under your feet too. Everywhere you go, full of the Holy Ghost, sin is under your feet. Death is under your feet. All dominion. Come on, somebody. Either this Bible is true. Come on, let's let God be true. He had put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head of all things. Who did he give it to? The church. If I say the church, church, which is his body, if he puts sin underneath his feet, it's under our feet. Right. Hallelujah. If he put, I meant death, hallelujah, and addiction under our feet. Come on now. Amen. Hallelujah. Then we need, amen, hallelujah, to use and exercise the spiritual dominion that God has given to the church. Hallelujah. Amen. In his name, we're going to cast down devils. Come on. And we're going to speak in tongues. We're going to give the glory to God. Come on. Hallelujah. We're not going to rejoice that devils are subject to us. But we're going to rejoice that our names are written in heaven. Come on now. Hallelujah. Amen. Our names are written. Hallelujah. In 
the Lamb's book of life uh, by the one that has given us, uh, hallelujah, verse 7, through his blood, through the mystery of his will, abounding toward us in all wisdom and prudence, hallelujah, sealing us with the Holy Spirit, a promise, hallelujah, amen, he's going to gather together a church, hallelujah, amen. Amen. amen, the world is under our feet, amen, hallelujah, amen. And I'm closing with this. A lot of times we have heard where it is said by the prophet Isaiah, heaven is my throne. And the earth is my footstool. That means it's under his feet. Hallelujah. He said, what house will you build me? Praise God. Hallelujah. But one day God is going to make all of his enemies his footstool. Hallelujah. Praise God. The last enemy to be destroyed is death. Amen. Hallelujah. But can I tell you, Christ hath conquered sin. He's conquered death. He's conquered the grave for every one of us that have repented of our sins. Been baptized in Jesus' name. Buried with Him. Come on. Because we have the same victory. Because we are risen with Him. Hallelujah. And we're waiting. Come on. We believe He rose from the dead. I Come on, I want somebody to understand when you come up out of that baptismal tank, you're, you're saying hallelujah, that Christ is not in that grave, and I'm not going to stay in a grave either, hallelujah praise God, when I got out of there, amen, get the Lord to heaven send the Lord to heaven to make it come on somebody, we need to rejoice, hallelujah, amen when you fight, amen, the spirits that are in this world, they have already been defeated they're already under your feet. Hallelujah. It's not what is going to happen. It's already happened. It happened in Calvary. He put them under. Hallelujah. His feet. And to make you a part of this. Amen. He puts you into his church. His body. Hallelujah. So you could experience. Hallelujah. The same victory that Jesus had while he walked upon the face of the earth. Let's lift our hands to the Lord right now. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead. Far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named. You've got a name, hallelujah. Praise God. I said you've got a name that's far, far above those principalities. Far above, amen, hallelujah, the things that you face. Hallelujah. You need to use the name. You need to believe that God has given you that power. It's not, it's not for us. It's for the church, which is his body. Hallelujah. I said it's for his body. Hallelujah. Does anybody want to exercise? Hallelujah, that power right here. Come on, somebody. Does anybody want to see the real Jesus and the purpose of him filling your life? Hallelujah. It's so that you can have victory. Hallelujah, from the time you rise to the time that you lay your head down. Hallelujah, to God be the glory. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Let's praise him, church. Let's praise him, church. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, let's lift our voices. Let's lift our hearts. Hallelujah. Let's give him the glory. Let's give him the praise for this. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. It's all in him. I said it's all in him. In him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Hallelujah. And when you get in the church, hallelujah, amen, we enter into the realm of the fullness of God bodily. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. His power. His power. Come on. That's why he said, hallelujah, I'll speak to this victory. Amen. When you speak, hallelujah, expect things to happen. When you pray, hallelujah, expect those things that you say will come to pass. Come on. And if it's his will, it's going to happen. Hallelujah. Because he's made you like him. He's given you power. Come on. He's given you power to forgive. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, church. To love the way he loves. 
to live the way he lived. Amen. He put things under his feet to give it to us. To give you the greatest blessing of the human experience. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To be filled with the Spirit of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God wants you to believe this. God wants you to know this. Hallelujah. He sent me to preach this to you. Hallelujah. Don't live under your privilege. Hallelujah. Don't live under the privilege. Amen. Once you know, God wants you to experience. Hallelujah. Amen. Real victory. Hallelujah. Amen. There's no higher calling than the calling of Jesus Christ to the human soul. After that, you heard the word of truth. The gospel of your salvation. Hallelujah. Amen. After that you believed you were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. Hallelujah. The earnest of our inheritance. Hallelujah. Amen. Until it comes back for that redemptive purchase. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He bought us and he's coming back for those whom he has redeemed and bought with his blood. Let's clap our hands for the Lord. Let's give God some high praise here tonight, church. We need to leave this house, hallelujah, with the high, let the high praise of God be in the, a twisted sword in their hand. Amen. Everybody said the weapons, amen, are not carnal. We're not fighting carnal enemies. We're not wrestling against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, right? Where are those principalities and powers? Amen. Hallelujah. They're under our feet. Amen. I said, hallelujah. They're under our feet. God has given us the necks of the enemies. Hallelujah. Come on. How many believe that? This is by by say amen. amen. I'm giving you the word of God. Amen. What was foretold, hallelujah, is fulfilled in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. God wants you to be able to discern. Hallelujah. Good for me. Amen. Hallelujah. The lost from the saved. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. And we have been given power. Hallelujah. Amen. To the glory. Amen. Of his purpose. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's praise him one more time. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And I want the church, God wants the church to understand this. How many understand what has been preached here to you? Hold up your hand if you really comprehend. Amen. Hallelujah. What God has given to you when he gave you the Holy Ghost. Come on, church. Hallelujah. Praise God. You don't have to be defeated another day. Come on. You don't have to sin a little bit every day. Come on. Hallelujah. But you do have to pray every day. It's not just automatic. Right. You've got to pray every day. Amen. You've got to be renewed in this power every day. Come on. It doesn't happen just because we step into a church building. It happens when we pray in the Holy Ghost. When we build up our holy faith praying in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. When we start praying His will. Hallelujah. To be done. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. And how many believe that God has given us this city? I believe God has given us this city. Amen. This is the realm of our responsibility. You don't need to get your mind overloaded with 7 billion people. We've got 50,000 right here that need to hear the gospel. Amen. And God has given you His Spirit and His gospel. Amen. Let's praise Him one more time. Let's praise Him one more time. We're a blessed people. I said we are a blessed people. Blessed people. Amen. amen, amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Once again, reminding everybody, hallelujah, uh, tomorrow night at 7, is it 7 o'clock? Uh, 7 o'clock, amen, the baby shower for Sister Melinda. Amen. And uh, let's be there on time. Amen. amen. All, all the ladies say amen. amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. And uh, amen. Thankful for, hallelujah, all of our little babies. Hallelujah. Can you say praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. Amen. Um, outreach, amen. Hallelujah is. Uh,